Hi, I'm Brenda Bear, and welcome to my little yarny channel about crochet, knitting, and spinning. Um, it's been a little while, but I'm still alive. And um, I only have one thing done. It's not exactly yarny, but it's for yarny stuff. Um, and two projects, I guess. I, f I meant to say this before, but um, I wanted to say thank you to the people who have subscribed and the people who have not and just stopped by and watched a little bit and the people who have subscribed and watched too. So thank you. I appreciate it. And um, I also appreciate comments and uh, I read them and try to answer them all. Um, sometimes I'm not the greatest at answering things, um, like thinking of the right thing to say. Anyway, moving on. So the first thing is a sewing project. It's pretty simple. Um, it was kind of difficult for me because sitting at the desk at the sewing machine for a long period of time is hard on my back. I guess that's not like that new or unusual, but with the sensation problems I have in my hands from the nerves in my neck being pinched, it makes it a little weird. Um, anyway, so made this apron. It's a little funky. Doesn't have ties. Uh, I left the ties off on purpose because I had planned to be sitting while combing some of the fibers to blend them and I didn't want a, a knot or bow or whatever hitting me in the back. Um, the other thing is if I left just left them untied then I have the strings flapping around and getting in my way and annoying me so I just left them off. <laughs> anyway, made an apron. It's a little funky here. Here's my little backside because I'm one of those people that I'm like, oh, it looks fine, but I want to see what the back looks like, or the inside of the hat looks like, or anyway. So I made this without a pattern, and you'll see this part. Okay, so the narrow part of an apron. All right, try to do this real quick. So this tapering part right here. I wasn't, since I didn't use a pattern, I was kind of guessing at it and checking ah, along the way. So that's what this is. Me, this is the first attempt that I thought, oh, I'll just do a little bit right here and it'll be fine. It wasn't enough. I needed more rim. So I folded it over again and just went along. I could cut all this off with a rotary cutter, but I felt like it wasn't hurting anything, any, hurting anything being there, and it's not like it's a gift that I'm going to give someone or, or sell. It's just for me, so it's fine. Um, so sewing is also a craft that drives me crazy that I can't do to the degree that I used to. Okay, so straight pins. You probably not see this. I can grip this if I pay close attention, but it's not easy. So, okay. I found that these little wonder clippy do things that are like a clothespin helped me a whole bunch for doing the edges. It was, it's more for me to grab onto and control so yay for wonder clips yeah. um, alright went on for that for quite a while anyway I made an apron and the apron was for coming my mohair top and rombule probably saying it wrong um, wool together not exactly perfect, but roughly 50-50 kind of blend. And I'm using my cheapo makeshift wool combs to do that. They're just hair picks, metal hair picks. And 
I didn't think they would do that well, but they do a fair job. I mean, I don't have proper ones to compare them with, but it, it works. And But when I was doing the blending, the mohair was shredding like crazy. I don't know if I already said this. Maybe I have. But that was why the need for the apron, because I was just covered in mohair when I did that. So, anyway, here is what I have gotten done so far. It doesn't look like a lot because it's on a giant bobbin. And this is just tail end. Um, so anyway, it's kind of hard to see. Just my hand is too light to, I don't know. Anyway, it's fuzzy and cool. And when I get done, I don't know what I'm going to knit or crochet or whatever out of the yarn, but I do plan to dye it and because different fibers take dye differently, I'm excited to see how it comes out. So it's going to be a long time until then, but something to look forward to. And then the last little thing is going along the lines of try not to be like woe is me type of person and be positive. Um, so I wanted to make some socks. It's been a couple years. Um, the last pair I made was too small. I had to give my give to my daughter, but now she's outgrown them. And I didn't plan on <coughs> excuse me <coughs> making any more socks because that requires using these little tiny tiny needles and like I said with the straight pins for sewing gripping feeling is not what it used to be so I thought this would not be something I would be able to do luckily um, so far it looks like I'm wrong I found that it's still hard. I'm super slow, um, but I'm doing it. So here's my little sock. I'm not exactly using a pattern. Well, I sort of am. So when I said it had been a couple of years since I made some socks, um, I couldn't remember exactly how to do the German short row heel. It's not that hard. I should remember this, but I, I couldn't. <laughs> And so I found a video of how to do it. And um but my other little problem is when I watch something I, I get how to do it, but until I'm physically doing it, it doesn't stay in my head as well. Here's my sock. The pattern I kind of went off of in video was I hope I get this right. New leaf designs. Um video on she has a tutorial and it's in several parts um but I watched the part on how to do the heel and it made sense but I had to do it physically in my head and obviously I'm not to that point yet but that's the reason main reason for this is I I, I have to know how to do it even if I can't do it does that make sense so anyway I'm having some success I basically used her pattern for the cast on number of stitches for starting at the toe and how many to increase to for the main foot and body of the sock. Um, but I didn't use the part of the pattern that created a little bit of texture on the foot, top of the foot instep. Yes, of the sock. I just, hers was fine. I just wanted to do something different. So, did a little bit of ribbing. It's just four knits and a purl. But I started with two knits and a purl at the beginning. So that when I got to the end, it wouldn't just end on a purl, it would end on a knit. So it was more like even, symmetrical somehow in my brain. Like I wanted it that way. Um, 
I'm not quite sure if I'm going to like it. So this is the inside. These are where the pearls are. And they're kind of popped up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to like it. But if I don't, my daughter will. So, yay. Um, taking me forever. But if it goes slow, it seems to work. It's not as bad as making the little... And we're Garumi guys with a tiny crochet hook um, and super tight tension. That's one of the reasons I'm not making these as much anymore, even though they're my favorite thing to make. Um, somehow, oh, stay. Somehow, even though these are super thin, like thinner than my crochet hooks, when they're, let me show this. So when the little, oops are mounted up on the needle, it it seems like it takes me a lot less effort and twisting and pushing and manipulating of stitches in crochet. Like this is not as hard somehow. I don't know. But it's working and I'm going slow. So oh and real quick, if you're one of those people who are like, oh we're what, that's cool yarn. What are you using? Um, it's a store bought uh, sock plate yarn. It's just the patent, patent, however you want to pronounce it, for my sock. And it's just number one. And the color was turquoise stripes. So, yay. Um, trying to make socks. And, well, this is a weird kind of thing for me. I don't mean to be complaining about health stuff, but it's, it's a weird part of my fibery crochet knitting spinning journey to have to adapt to uh, doing things differently because of some limitation. So yay, f I keep on all trucking and um, I wanted to say thanks again for watching 